Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Steph Play Solo Game Show. Oh, hey, my phone is on sound. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> just want to make sure I keep my phone running just because I don't want anything to go wrong with the stream, and that allows me to see if anything's going wrong with it. So, uh, yeah, but my sound was on. Hey, good morning. Uh, it, it is morning. <laughs> And I have some time, so I figured I would check out some solo games th uh, this morning. There's an awesome lineup of games, and I figured I would start with Kingswood. Uh, Kingswood is a new game from 25th Century Games. And he's in the chat. Thank you so much for joining, Chad. Uh, he says, the coffee is ready, the windows are open, and it's a nice, cool breeze. Let's do this. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't drink coffee, so maybe I should get on that. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, you can join me for some solo gaming. Now, uh, this is a, a new game that just came out, I think, a few months ago, and, um, it, it plays really well with two players. I played it with two players before, and, uh, Michael really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And there's this awesome solo mode, so I figured I'd, uh, check that out, uh, in this solo day <laughs> stream. <laughs> uh, so... Let's look at the board. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I did my best to set it up. I have, um, everybody will start the game with a cool, uh, adventure. So there's all these different, um, awesome people that you could choose from. Oh, that's not in focus. What the heck, man? What the heck? I gotta do this every time and I forgot to do it. So let me put it in focus. So that everybody could see it nice and clearly. Focus. Is that better? Let's see. I think that's better. Apply. I'll just apply. And okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we got all these cool adventures. I've played him because he's red. Uh, we got our the arcane dude. We got this. Uh, Murder of Crows. Oh, she's pretty cool looking. She's pretty cool. She she must be the rogue. We got the treetop order. We got the, the ranger. And we got just the the big fighter dude. What does he do? Temple of Ancient Oats. Okay, so he's kind of like um, cleric kind of dude. I am going to play as the House of Music. Look at him. He's so awesome. He's so awesome. Okay. So I figured I went, I'm going with him because I tried the red guy last time and I'll try this, this guy and I'll have to play the, um, uh, the, you know, the rogue next time. Cause that's usually who I pick if I'm playing like Pathfinder. I want to be a rogue character. So you get all these choices, uh, of characters and you're going to take these starting resources. So in this case, I'm going to get $3 and two books. And we have these different resources here. We got some hearts and we got some swords and we got some books and the money here. Of course, the money. And the money. Yes, it's Saturday morning. I know. I'm aware. It's new. It's a new and exciting stream. I'm trying to feature as many games as possible before Spiel, like all the games if I can. And so these are just going to be a couple solo games that I'm playing. And so we got all this, this currency type things. Now, if you're going to, if you're going to collect, if you're going to spend money, you spend money. They go, that goes back to the, 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 the pile over there. If you have hearts and you spend them, they just flip over. You're going to have to figure out ways in the game to refresh these resources. But it's good because uh, you just refresh them. You don't actually lose them. They're in your supply. And so these different locations on the board will help out uh, to replenish these different items. So <laughs> let's see. So the solo game feels very different depending on the character and special locations combo. Every combo um, will 
vary in toughness and make the game feel different says 25th century games thank you for that i haven't played the solo game so this will be new for me normally you start the game with three monsters out here but in the solo game each round you're going to add a monster if there's ever four monsters in the forest at the end of the round then i lose so <laughs> obviously i don't want to lose so i have to maintain the monsters and protect the village so What's cool about this game is that you're you're going to be taking these different actions. There's six different actions on the board. It's kind of in a circle. I tried to do a circle -y kind of thing here. And um, it matters slightly. You're going to be jumping to... You're going to be activating a location where there's an adventurer, this blue dude. And you're going to be going to a, a location um, adjacent or one away. But each space you hop over, you're going to have to pay a dollar. So obviously you want to try and manipulate the board so that you don't have to spend money to go to different locations and then he'll be sitting there now this knight will come into play and then block the location where this guy just left and so that 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 plays out uh like the standard game and uh if we're playing two players then the next person would go and do the same thing you know maybe he would take that action then that action then he would go there and so then these adventure dudes they're really cool they're really cool we got that guy. We have three of those eh, adventurers, and we have one knight. So they're really cool, chunky meeples that are just <laughs> around. Oh, I'm, I keep moving things. Uh, there's a, there's a setup to this madness. Okay, so they, the the adventurers start in the blacksmith, the tavern, and the academy. I randomly laid everything out. The forest always goes down here. Um, every game, so there's also a market, this is where you get some money, but the standard three boards that where the adventurers start are these tiles here, and they're all very similar. So you're going to get, you're going to spend one dollar to refresh all your hearts, or you're going to spend a dollar to gain one heart. So these hearts, you know, I would get added to my supply. So the more hearts I have, the more, the more I get to flip over whenever I... You know, refresh all for one. And so there's a heart one, a sword uh, location, and the academy is for books. Obviously. I forget how that was. but Okay, and so there are these monsters that are going to come out. I'm going to spoil it a little bit. But, so there are these different monsters. In order to defeat them, I'm going to need to exhaust a book, spend a dollar. I'm going to have to exhaust a sword and a heart. Uh, I'm gonna have to exhaust a book and a heart, and so normally in, in in the multiplayer game you're gonna get points. However, just because I'm a solo gamer right now, I don't really count on points. So this is the point tracker, which I'm not gonna really keep score. I'm just trying to maintain the village uh, from having a monster overtake, and so uh, I assume I still get the benefit at the bottom of each of these cards. Uh, and so my whole goal right now is to find the chapter two monsters and defeat them and i need to find and defeat three of the listed monsters in um in the rules i don't remember who they are at the, this point but i'll show you so i need to find and defeat dragon i gotta defeat the dragon i gotta defeat the giant i gotta defeat the Goyle. Oh, the genie. The genie. Genie, giant, and dragon. So I need to defeat two of these three mightiest beasts of the forest. The dragon, the giant, or the and or the genie. <laughs> uh, so I'll keep that out there so I remember. So that's my goal. If I can defeat two of the mightiest bad guys, then I'm good without having the forest overrun with monsters. <laughs> Oh, uh, Chad said, by the way, congratulations on the calendar Kickstarter campaign. Yay! It was so successful. Thanks, everybody who supported. I am so thrilled, uh, you know, and to get the that calendar out to everybody makes me um, ecstatic. I'm, I'm very excited. So, uh, uh, yay! <laughs> it was awesome. Okay, so <laughs> there are the players. Okay. I think... I think I'm ready to start. It's kind of hard to see these little duders. Maybe I'll just put it like above. 
you can see where they are. If, if there's an adventurer on a board, um, it means I can't, I can't go to that location with another adventurer. And I can't go to a, a space with the red dude. So, uh, my special board in play, every, every game you're going to have a special board in play, and there's a whole bunch in the box, and I, I chose this randomly. Refresh all my books. Oh, hey, that actually works with my house of music. That's not bad. And look at the top monster card. You may defeat that monster immediately. Oh, so that's like a push your luck kind of card. Uh, I really like that, so <laughs> I'll probably be going there and hope for the best because that's what I like to do. I like to push my luck, and usually it doesn't go so well for me, but I try, I try. <laughs> okay, so what do I want to do? I think I need to buy some, some stuff. I need to, like, use these locations here. So I'm going to use this guy right about there. And I'm going to spend a dollar and gain a sword. The sword comes face up to me. I'll try and make it so you can see my stuff. Uh, so I spend a dollar and I get a sword. Because it's a refresh all swords or spend a dollar to gain one sword. So I will do that. And I'll just, I'll just come over here and gain three dollars. Because why not? And he comes up here. So he's now, oh, I could do that. Maybe it's easier to see if they're standing up. They're really cool. Um, so at the end of each round, I believe at the end of each round, I must put out a card. Or if I do that at the beginning, do, 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 do. There's only one guild of force begins with no monsters automatically. Instead, after completing your first turn without any monsters, reveal one card from the monster deck and start each turn at the start of each turn and add it to the forest. Okay, so going into my next turn. Here we go. All right. I, it only costs a book and a coin. So that's actually not so bad. I can manage that one. I can defeat him. I think I should do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a book. And I will head over to the forest. So then he goes here. Uh, I'll head to the forest and fight uh, the monster. So if, if there were more monsters in the lineup of the forest, I could defeat as many as I wanted to at that time. Uh, I'm not going to take my chances. I'm just going to do it. So... Uh, I'm gonna go and kill the sun spirit. Oh, but he's so cute. He's so cute. I don't want to kill him. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I spend a dollar. I use a book. Refresh one heart. Well, I don't have a heart to refresh, so I'll just put my killed monsters over here. And now, the key is to jump in now or go hit a couple other locations and bounce to the forest to defeat monsters at a couple monsters at a time. Yeah, I'm going to defeat it now uh, because I had the opportunity to. Otherwise, I'd have to spend money to move further and it gets a little wonky. So I don't want to do that. Start my turn. Reveal the monster. Three coins. Oh, hey, I have three coins. However, that's a lot of money. I'm not going to have three coins in a second. I was going to go get a heart because and a sword. So, all right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend $2, two of my hard-earned monies, to get a sword and a heart. I'm going to need these things eventually. I know it. I already know this. I'm trying to I should keep that. Okay, so we got that. This guy moves there to block that location. I don't have money to defeat the troll at this time, so I'm going to do this. Take a gamble. Ha <laughs> ha! And get three money. And jump! And do the wizard's tower! Refresh one book. Hey, I have a book to refresh. How about that? And I get to look at the top monster card. I may defeat that monster immediately. It is the... Moon spirit. 
I need a sword and a dollar. Oh, I totally am going to do it and defeat this monster. That's awesome. So I flipped over a sword. I got rid of a dollar. And bada bing, bada boom. I'm lucky. <laughs> this knight jumps over here and blocks that location, which is sad because I really need money. Uh, because now... Oh, sorry, my turn. I have to reveal this. No! Oh, I can't do both of those. I can't do both of those. Oh, and he's going to block that if I move there. So I'm going to be in trouble if I if I actually go and defeat the troll. And then I won't even have a dollar to spend here. So there's problems. I got problems, people. So I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to uh, spend $2 to buy a sword and a heart. And I'm not sure this is the right play. But I'm going to do... So at the start of my turn, I reveal that. Oh my god, this is so dangerous. Um... Oh, I have an ability. I totally forgot about my ability, but now I'm going to read my ability. Maybe it will help me. Whenever I use the tavern, where is the tavern? Over here. I may also capture a monster from the forest or fight a captured monster. Oh, that would have been amazing. So I did that last turn and that guy was available. I'm going to kill him. I would have killed him. I believe that's what it means. I could fight. I could also capture a monster from the forest or fight a captured monster. Oh, I could capture it. I'm not sure I know what capture is. Capturing a monster. When capturing a monster, you can choose one that is revealed in the forest or draw the top card from the monster deck without looking at it first. Tuck the monster card face down under your guild card so that it doesn't get mixed up with the other monsters you have defeated and keep it secret. If defeated, if needed, refill the forest. No, uh, whenever this is your turn in the forest, I may choose to defeat the captured monster in the usual way. You cannot release your captured monster. You must defeat it before capturing another one. Oh, well then I would have I would have captured I would have captured this one for sure cuz um I don't have 3 money. So I'm going to assume that I did that right. And now it's less worrisome and I can defeat this guy. I don't necessarily have to defeat that guy, but it's going to save me for at least one turn. Because I can't, whenever you use the tavern, you may also capture a monster from the forest or fight a captured monster. So that's actually not so bad. It will help me in the long run. So now I am going to use this action, refresh one book. I don't have a book to refresh. Uh, I can look at the top deck and fight it. It is a book and a heart that is awesome. I will do that. So I flip over the book and the heart. I'll defeat him. I think I also did this one wrong. Ah. I was supposed to add one to the to the forest. Oh man, I did all sorts of things wrong. I gotta read these cards better. This one said, reveal and add an extra monster to the forest. So that's not a great one. That's not, I mean, that's that's probably gonna end up killing me in the end, but we'll see. I got three coins for going here, which will help. All right, so at the start of my next turn, I'm gonna reveal another card. I'm gonna have to defeat as many of these as possible. Oh, it's a genie. It's one of the two, I'm one of the three dudes I need to beat in order to um, win the game. I need to defeat as many of these things as possible. So with that in mind, I can do the, the book and the dollar, and that says refresh one heart, so I will. And then I'm going to do this one, Goblin Gang. It's a sword and a heart. So now the question is, do I do this card? It's really dangerous. It's really, really, really dangerous. Ah. Oh. It's because it's dangerous because it says reveal and add an extra monster to the forest. And I don't know if I want to do that at this time. I guess I can. 
And I might be able to defeat it, but I probably won't be able to because I don't have a whole lot of resources that are available to me right now. Oh, this is so hard. This is so hard. This is so hard. I don't think it's all looking very bad. Very bad. I could defeat the three. Ugh, I shouldn't do that. I should not do that. I need to refresh my books. And I need uh, to refresh. I need an extra heart is what I need. This is not good because this guy's going to go block my heart area. And uh, I won't be able to attack that genie. Oh, man. I think I, I've locked myself out of a lot of things at this time. But you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. And um, I'll kill this guy. I put out another one. It's really... Dangerous. I'm actually fairly close to defeating the small dragon, but I do not have a sword handy. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, I'm done with the forest and I have to move somewhere. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, I'll go here. I will spend a dollar to refresh my books. He goes there. All right, start of the turn. Oh boy. Oh, that's a wraith. Okay, all right. Oh boy, oh boy. I need two hearts. Not good, not good. Okay, sword. I don't have any money. I have, I need to do this. I need to get $3 because I need money. And I'm going to spend a dollar to refresh all my swords. So now I have three swords. Oh my God. I have four. Oh, it's a giant. I don't have these hearts that I need. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is looking, this is like doom and gloom over here, people. I got four monsters. I don't have a choice. I need to spend a dollar, get a book. I need to go to the forest to do that. I don't, I don't have a choice. I gain a dollar to defeat the small dragon. Start of my turn. Oh my God. Well, I can, I can survive another round, but that's basically it. Oh, I don't, I have to get lucky with look at the next monster in the top of the deck and just hope it works, but um, I have to fight a monster. It's going to cost me all my money. And he doesn't give me any awesome ability. So I have no choice. I'm going to have to go here. Refresh one book. And I look at the top. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a sword and a heart. I don't have a sword and a heart. <laughs> All right, this gets revealed. Yep. Yep. This is uh this is where I go to die, folks. Wow, this is hard. This is hard. This is so hard. I got to do envy I don't know if I did it right, but. All right, I think that was it. I think that's, that's my game. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Wow. Because no matter what I do, I won't be able to go to the forest and defeat these monsters. I needed more hearts. All of these need hearts.
So, Chad is suggesting, can you try to defeat a captured monster, then recapture a stronger one to defeat later? Um, yeah, but I'm already, I already lost. I, I just lost. There's nothing I can do. I have four. If there are four or more monsters in the forest at the end of my turn, then the village is overrun and my guild fails. I was bad. I was a bad adventurer. <laughs> Might be too late. Yeah, and I was actually thinking about about completing this um, captured one to, to capture the genie just to get it out of there and maybe do it later. Um, I, but my, my main problem was the blacksmith, the tavern, and the academy were all right next to each other. So the tavern was getting, like, used. It, I mean, it wasn't giving me a, a lot of... Um, opportunity to, to use it um so I was I wasn't getting enough hearts and so I had a lot of books which is great and I I need I had um a few swords so that helped uh my big biggest problem I was that I didn't have any money and I needed the money to refresh everything I need the money to beat those monsters so oh yeah yeah, the bard that captured is it was really he's really cool. He's really cool. House of Music. I really like him. Womp womp womp. I'm failure. I kinda wanna play again. We can play again real fast. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset it up. Hey, I defeated a couple chapter two monsters. That's good. These are probably all chapter two. I'm playing again real fast. Real fast, real fast. All right. I'm gonna be somebody else. I'm gonna be somebody else. I'm gonna shuffle up and get a new a new board. All right, let's see if I can do it. I have a feeling I can do it. No, I, <laughs> I'm not very good at this game. Okay. All right, good enough. He stays there. All right, is there, is there a cool board that I should try? Refresh one sword, capture a monster from the forest. That would actually be helpful. Use the ability of the king's location. I, that was a, that's what I had in my first game, and it was really, really great. Capture a monster in the forest. Swap one monster you've defeated for a monster in the forest. Wow. I want to play with that one. The potion shop is good. These are all really, really helpful. Um, the game parlor is less helpful, so I'm going to take that out. Uh, that's less helpful as well. But you don't have to spend money, so it's not like... I'm going to shovel these five and then uh, use one of these. All right. Which character should I be? character should I be? Let's see. I've got... Oh, he's good. Ignore the king's guard when visiting a location. Whenever you exhaust a heart, you may fresh a spell book. Wow, he's not bad either. Whenever you use the force, you may reveal and add an extra monster. Yeah, that is not happening. Uh, whenever you use the market, gain an extra coin. Yes, I'm gonna try the rogue. My, my girl, my girl, she's so awesome. All right, there we go. I get two swords and uh, three bucks to start the game. Here we go, I'm gonna do it again. Can't believe how fast I lost. Well, I can, I just, I'm not good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be her. When I go to the market, I get an extra dollar. It's going to be excellent. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So these dudes start the academy, the blacksmith, and the tavern. All right. I like it. Okay. My girly. My girly. She's so great. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, whenever I use the market, I gain an extra coin. 
I should go to the market and collect some money. I could get another sword, but that seems like a little over. I don't really, I already have, how many? I start with two swords. Maybe one more is good. Okay. I will gain a sword for a dollar and I will collect four dollars, which is really three dollars because I'm spending a dollar. So I have a lot of money here. It's awesome. It's going to like boost me for the rest of the game. The knight will go there. Goblin gang. You know what? I'm going to ignore that because I don't have a heart. I could get a heart and go fight it, but I'm spending that. I'm then spending actions to do that. So I think it's probably best if I do something else first. Maybe not. There's not much else. I don't, I don't have a sword to refresh. So, all right. I will spend a dollar and gain a heart. I will go to the forest and fight, fight the goblin gang. No ability, no, no penalty or anything for, for beating them. Okay. So now he went there. Uh, I reveal this. Okay, I can't do that, so let's not do that. Um, I need a book. I need to get start collecting my books. So I'm going to get a book and refresh my sword and capture a monster from the forest. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. And I can defeat this guy whenever um, I go to the forest next. That's so like an extra. He jumps over here. All right. Ugh. So bad. I'll, I'll defeat the troll. Three dollars. Um, and I'm going to spend a dollar to get a heart. I could have also done that, but I didn't have the heart at the time. That gets revealed. Oh my god, I hate the, the moon spear, spirit, sprite. Mm, I need money. Four dollars, yes! My rogue is awesome. And I'm going to, I guess, buy, I'm going to, hmm. I could spend, I'll spend a dollar to jump over there and get to the academy to get a book. Because I'm going to need books more than I'm going to need these swords. Maybe. It's a maybe. I started there, which is sad. So he goes, covers that up. I flipped that over. Two swords and two dollars. Oh, hey, I do have that. Hmm. You know what? I will. I don't. I don't get anything for this. Refresh one sword and capture a monster from the forest, but there's nothing to capture. So I could do this, but then I don't have any money. Oh my god! I could do this. Okay, I'm gonna spend two dollars to get a book and a sword. And then he jumps there. This is probably a terrible idea, but I'm going to let it go. I'm letting it go. I need money. I need money, 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 money. I don't have any money. I can't do any of that. So... Can I move this guy to here for free? I think I can. Because they just jump over each other. Move your Avenger to an empty location. You may move to a location adjacent to one where you started. At for no cost, you may skip over one or more locations, even if they are occupied by immediately playing one coin each. Oh, so I... No, I can't do that. Uh, all right. Don't be left without any money. Then you'll end up like me and do one fewer actions on your turn. So that's really a bad plan. It's a bad plan. I could, uh, I'm going to use him and get $4. 
and I will spend a dollar to jump over to the forest. Yeah. Now I can, oh, I was supposed to reveal that, which I did not do. All right, so now I need to defeat all these things. All the things. It's gonna cost me four dollars, two swords, two books. I could do this in an order though. So maybe let's do it. Let's do it one at a time. Okay. So I'll do this. It's a book and a dollar. I refresh one heart. Um, I'm going to do this, which is a dollar and a sword. And I have to reveal an extra monster. Oh boy. I will do this ghost for a book and a heart. I will do this mm, book and dollar and I refresh a heart. And I will do the sword and the dollar but I have to reveal an additional. It's chapter two now. Oh, it's two hearts. Well, it's three hearts, one of which I have to actually lose. And But I refresh all my books, which actually is not bad. I could still do things if I could. I can't do my the one that I've captured because I needed a book. Wow. So I guess that's my turn. I need to gain a heart is what I need. So start my turn. What? What? It's five dollars. It's a troll boss and he's not even one of the bad ones that I need to defeat. Oh no. Oh, I have money so it's not that bad. I, I need to... I'm going to use this guy, refresh one sword, and I could capture a monster. However, I already have a captured monster. I'm going to go over here. It cost me a dollar to go there, and I'm going to spend a dollar to get a heart. And that goes like that. And, um... Now it's a new turn. Oh, man. More money. It's a troll. Toll troll. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man, this is really hard. This is really hard. I am going to spend a dollar to gain a heart. And I'll come up here and get four dollars. I'm going to reveal that because I have to. Oh, okay. Actually, I can do that. I will go to the forest. I have to do that, actually. So, it's going to cost me three swords, three hearts. But I get to refresh two hearts. And then I can do this ice ball. It costs three hearts, one of which I have to lose permanently. And I refresh all my books. All right, that wasn't so bad. I actually did two. Oh, and I still have money. I can defeat the three dollars I can spend to defeat the toll troll. And I will, because that will put stop to that mess. And I'll come here and refresh a sword. Hey, that wasn't that bad. Hey, uh, I need to figure out what to do, but. Okay, got to refresh my swords. I need money. I need money. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to gain $4 and come down here and spend a dollar to refresh all my hearts. He comes here. I could gain a heart. 
Oh boy. You know what? What am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a dollar to refresh all my swords. I will come over here and uh, buy a book. He goes there. Ah, uh, we got a new one. Clean house, yes. I got lucky. I got lucky. Oh, I can do that. Small dragon. I've already defeated one giant. I need to defeat the dragon. Or the genie. So I need to find the dragon or the genie and maintain everything else until then. Um, I have two dollars. Okay, I'm going to spend a dollar, gain a heart. And I'll go to the forest. And I will attack. The goblin bully. And I will attack the sword of, I mean, small dragon with the sword, a book, and a heart. I gain a dollar. And I can, since I have it, spend my book and my heart to defeat this captured ghost. So if I go to capture something, I can actually get rid of that troll and put it in the holding area for now. Right now I have a sword, two dollars, and two books, and I had started here, so he goes there. New turn, flip that up. Hey, this is like an easy one. Ah. Can't actually do it, of course. I'm going to spend a dollar and a dollar, and I'm going to refresh my books and my swords. My books and my swords. Okay. I have no money. So, what's this? What's this? I really need to gain my hearts back, it looks like, which is not going to happen. I, I have no choice. I need to go here and get $4. It does, it, it's only one action. I can't refresh or buy a new sword. But I need to do that. Oh, okay, the wraith. Oh my god, all these need hearts. I think what I have to do is this, refresh one sword, which I don't have to refresh. But I need to capture a monster, which will be this troll. And put it here. Um, and so that will bide my time. I'm going to spend a dollar to move over to here. And um, a dollar to regain all my hearts. So I am ready for the forest next turn. It's a dragon and I, oh, I can do it. I can do it. Huzzah. I'm going to go to the forest and defeat the dragon for three swords and three books. I get three dollars for it because he, he sits on gold Huzzah! There's the two that I needed, but let's see what else I can do just because. I can only do a heart and a sword to get rid of the goblin gang. And actually, I have $5. I can, I can actually defeat the troll boss! Wow. Got tense there for a minute. I didn't think I was going to pull it out, but I was, I was made sure to try and collect all my resources. And it seemed to go better that way when I was collecting more resources and letting the forest kind of get out of hand and building up my resource pile uh, a little bit. Because if this guy goes to block a location, uh, it gets really difficult because you need to, you need to take that action. And uh, so, yes. Nice. Let's see. Ah, uh, ho, ho. That was so much fun. Uh, played twice. I lost the first game and my amazing, uh, my amazing rogue character, uh, saved me in the second game, uh, with all of her extra, extra bucks that she gives when you go into the market. She is awesome. So having that extra money to spend is like key. 
<laughs> um. Oh, really? I can't. For the epic win. All right, I'll try it. I'll try it. All right, I'm going to keep going. All right, I'm going to keep going. Uh, Chad from 25th Century is like, you should keep going and uh, beat the beat the genie. Uh, I'm going to lose, though. I'm going to lose. Okay, but I, so if that's the case, he's going to go here. I'm going to go here, refresh one sword, and capture a monster. Um... All right, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try and defeat all three monsters because I'm crazy. No, no. Okay, so now we got this. I can refresh my books. Sure. I'll do that and I'll go. Oh, I can't, I don't have any money. So I need to get money. I need to get $4. And uh, I'm going to go spend a dollar to go over here and spend another dollar to refresh all my books. All right. He goes here. Oh, refresh all my swords, though. That's really good. Hmm. I'm going to do this. And go to here. I will kill the goblin gang. And oh. No, not the I'm not gonna do this. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. I need another heart. I'm gonna spend Okay, then I can do it. I spend a heart, a dollar to gain a heart, then I can go to the forest and spend a sword and a heart to to, do, to kill the goblin gang. And I can kill the fireball, which is three hearts, uh, one of which is lost forever, but I refresh all of my swords. Um, and he comes here. So now... There's that genie. I need to refresh all my hearts. Of course this dude is sitting on that. So I need to survive another two rounds. And that's just not going to happen. No! <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can kill the genie. I don't... Uh... Oh, I don't... I don't think I can do it. Did I just kill the fireball? I think I just killed this. I don't think I moved it. Then I can do it. Because I didn't remove the fireball, dude. So, okay. I was really nervous. I'm like, I don't think I can do it. Um, I, uh, there's nothing for me to do. Nobody for me to fight, because they all need hearts. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think the only thing for me to do is come here. It cost me a dollar to get there, and then I get four dollars. And he goes there, which is fine. I need to open up this location, and then I can get four dollars. Oh, I have to reveal. I get four dollars. And go there to spend a dollar to refresh all my hearts. And now I will buy a heart. Go to the forest and fight! 
the genie, the genie, all three successfully defeated adventure. I can defeat the small dragon as well. And a dollar. And I think that's about it. Because everything needs hearts. And I just don't have enough hearts. Now I have it. Woohoo! I did it. I defeated all three. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. Because I, I, I had three out there. But I forgot and I had defeated the fireball. I didn't move it. So that was awesome. Woo woo woo. Nice work. Yeah. No, that's that's a really cool game. I like that a lot. And you get the same feeling when you're playing with more people, too. And it goes fairly quickly. I, I went through a bunch of cards, so... <laughs> that's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Um, cool. I will... As I clean... I'm gonna cut... <laughs> this was fun. Check it out. <laughs>